Hello everyone, in order to earn the Stargazer Trophy, you need to photograph all the constellations. So we're gonna start off the first of nine in the Starlight Way, and we are gonna find one outside of Olympus. So on the map screen, you can hit Triangle and you'll embark in your gummy ship outside of Olympus. So we're gonna photograph nine constellations. Now the constellations are very big, brightly lit stars. And you can see, as we're looking at Olympus, just to the right there, there's a co collection of stars. Those are our constellations. So this one is going to be, uh, well, close, but we have to kind of go around this rock here to get the right angle on it. You have to get the right distance and you have to kind of be approaching it from the right angle in order to get the photograph. Not too difficult. Most of them are gonna just be pretty much straight on. So for this one, I just go around the rock so I can get a nice clear shot of the bomb. Snap that photo. And now we are gonna go back to the map here and select the toy box world. Again, press the triangle button to embark from there in your gummy ship. Now this one, if we turn around and we look at the toy box, we're going to kind of go off to maybe the four o'clock position, four or five o'clock position as you're looking at Toyland and head a little up here and you can kind of start seeing the dots there, the blue dots. Those make up the constellation. We just have to get close enough to get them all in view. When you take out your phone, if you have a red box, sometimes you can just adjust your distance uh, with the camera or just get closer as often as going to be the case. You can see the red outline. You got to get the yellow outline and then take the photo in order for it to count. So now we're going to go to the Kingdom of Corona area. We're going to embark from there by hitting triangle. and we're gonna get ourselves a cactar photograph. So again, turning around, looking at the kingdom there, off to the right-hand side, you got a bunch of rocks over here. This is gonna kind of be on the back left side of these rocks, of these larger ones. And you'll start seeing the constellation coming into view here in just a moment. Some of these are gonna require a bit of a distance to travel to. Nothing too bad, but later on, I'll actually kind of cut Let's some see. of it, the, the travel time out of the video, just to speed this thing up a little bit. All right, so next we're gonna head over to the Caribbean. So we are now in Misty Stream Galaxy. And that is a, a pretty cool looking world from space here. All right, so let's go back and look at it and I am flying the wrong direction, of course. Flip my ship around. I know I got a funny looking ship. No comments on that. All right, so heading towards it, we're just going to follow to the big open area to the right of it as you're looking at it. This one's pretty Let's simple. See. All right, so now we're gonna head over to MST dash zero one. There's actually going to be two constellations from this embarking point. So as we fly into it, we're going to turn around and we're going to fly through it and off to the right a little bit. It's going to be behind this little world and you can see the constellation way out there in the distance. So I'm going to cut a little bit. As you see, as I approach it, I wasn't able to, I wasn't on the right angle. So I had to kind of go swing out a little bit so I can get the constellation to form. So there you go. So as you approach it, you're just going to have to swing around to the right a little bit in order to get the shot at the right angle. So again, from that same launching point, this time we're going to turn around and look at it once again, except we're just going to go straight to the left. And between the frozen rocks and the regular rocks, just keep going through here and then kind of go around to the right. So pretty easy here. We're just heading straight on. Let's see. All right, so the final three constellations are all gonna be outside the Keyblade Graveyard area. This is of course the Eclipse Galaxy. This is the third and final galaxy you will unlock. And all three of them are going to be around here. Now, the first one is actually pretty much right above us at this point. So I'm just going to travel a little bit off here to the left. Kind of look up. 
This one might be a little tricky to get the right angle on. I'm just going to keep flying out a little bit more to the left, kind of the corner of this ship, and then approach it from over here. So approaching it from this direction will ensure that I'll have the constellation in full view as I get close enough. And bam, there it is. All right, so the final two are going to be on the exact opposite end of the ship. One to the right is what we're going towards now, and one to the left-hand side. So this is a pretty long journey, so I'm going to just kind of cut forward a little bit here. I had that direction to the back right corner of the ship, and you can see the constellation out there in the distance is coming in view. It's still a pretty good distance away. I don't necessarily have the fastest ship. Let's see. Still not quite at the right angle, maybe the, the wrong distance. So let's just kind of scoot a little let's closer. Nice. There we go. Some of them are a little finicky. All right, so the final one. Now for this, we are going to head straight to the other corner, the back left corner of the ship, if this is considered the back right corner. We got a lot of asteroids here, a lot of rocks you can shoot. Of course, you're going to get yourself some materials, which is never a bad thing. Okay, so as you can see, we kind of did a little bit of a, another edit jump here so we can speed up time. But there you go. That is the final constellation. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you got your trophy. If you did, hit the like button and, of course, subscribe.